Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day with Pragmatic Works. I'm Christopher, the Senior Principal Consultant over here. And today, uh, I'm going to be talking to you about common data services for apps. Um, so this was recently uh, completely done over uh, by Microsoft. So they, they released the information back in March and, um, and brought some more info out in, in build uh, to really expand upon uh, the vision for this product. And the common data services, um, it's an Azure-based business application platform, right? And what it does is it enables you to um, easily build and extend applications with, uh, you know, your customer's business data, right? Um, it helps bring together, you know, your data from across the Dynamics 365 suite, you know, CRM and AX and uh, NAV and GP and, and uh, you know, they use that, that common um, data service for more easily extracting data rather than having to get into the core of um, those data services, if you will, or, or those applications, right? Um, what it does is it allows you to focus on building and delivering like the apps that you want and the insights and process automation um, that really help you run more efficiently. Uh, and it integrates very nicely with Power Apps, Power BI, and Microsoft Flow, right? So uh, if you want to build uh, Power BI reports from your dynamic C uh, CRM data, 365 CRM data, um, you know, there, there are pre-canned um, entities that Microsoft has provided, right? And basically, um, data within the common data service or CDS is stored within a set of entities, okay? An entity is really just a set of records that's used to store data, and it's similar to how a table stores data within a database. Um, you know, CDS should really be thought of as um, a managed database service, right? Uh, so you don't have to create indexes or, uh, you know, any kind of the database tuning or any of those elements. You're not managing a database server like you would be with SQL Server or Data Warehouse or any of those types of things, right? It's really designed to be um, sort of a uh, somewhat of a, a centralized reporting uh, repository or data repository from which you can report or do further things with, right? So Power Apps is, is quickly becoming a good replacement for things like Microsoft Access, right, as it comes along in functionality and feature set, right? So uh, some common uses for, for data apps would be, um, you know, basically extending that data uh, rather than having to dig into the background platform. Um, and the reason that, that they're uh, really pushing this technology is that it's really easy to use, right? It's easy to share and secure. Uh, so, you know, you set up your user accounts just like you would with Azure services and, um, you know, you give specific permissions based on the user uh, and what they can have access to. Also, it gives you the metadata that you need based on that data. And, uh, you know, you can specify uh, what kind of uh, field you're working with, what kind of column you're working with within that entity. Um, it also gives you the capability of logic and validation, right? So um, you can create business process rules and data flows, uh, you know, from entity to entity or from application to entity or from application to entity to Power Apps, you know? And so there's a lot of interactivity there. Um, and uh, you can also create workflows that will automate business process for, you know, things like data cleansing or record updating, you know, uh, you can have these services, these workflows run in the background, and that way you don't have to um, manage them manually, right? Uh, and it's also got really good connectivity with Excel, uh, which obviously makes it um, much more user-friendly and people who are more comfortable with that platform. Uh, also, for, for the real power users out there, uh, there's an SDK available for developers, and uh, this allows you to really extend the product and, and build some, uh, some really cool custom apps. So, um, you know, I, I don't think it's a really a replacement for Azure SQL Data Warehouse or Azure SQL DB or, you know, anything like that. Um, but it definitely gives you the capability to have table-based data uh, in the cloud. 
that uh, has some really nice hooks into the Dynamics 365 space as well as um, outputting to Power Apps and Power BI. Uh, so if you're curious about this and you want to learn more or if uh, you've got any questions about Azure in general, uh, please reach out to us. Uh, click the link below or, or uh, send us an email and uh, really appreciate it and looking forward to chatting. Have a great day.